Let's go, chocolate thunder. Let's go, ice balls. Juicy fruits. Huh. That one just says slot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass at Street Fighter. This is a super low dance range of Tekken Aya 4. What? Why are their eyes so big? I don't know. It's just the design. They take up half their face. I think it's adorable. I think it's scary. Uh, <laughs> anyway, here's how you play. You stare deep into the eyes of those soulless creatures. Explain the basics, uh, uh, but it doesn't seem to do much good. So, Goose seems unable to grasp how to play. Even after that, he attempts to hold her hand or hips to guide her along until it gets too slow, too fast for the timing. Uh, maybe, rhythm, maybe you just suck at rhythm games. You were good at it. But I'm good at everything. I am the new messiah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the trick is wasting hours of your time to get better, like any skill. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to die alone and unfulfilled. Listen, Guitar Hero is love. <laughs> guitar Hero is life. Look, it's called a, it's a called a song of ice and fire. <laughs> Why are they fucking? Why wouldn't they be fucking? Now that points don't okay, but he met as a person with a blue heart and a red flaming head. It's just it's just a bunch of words. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> we're going matter. It's less of a game, more an interactive book. They both turn What's the point of it? Wow. They both turn to the <laughs> camera and wink like they're on the office. <laughs> well, what do you mean, what's the point of it? It's like a book. You want to see where the ending is, don't you? But I do speak these words and people actually pay for this. It doesn't make sense for one of you in an arcade, yeah. Yeah. Look, you feel, you feel too much of a snob for that. I like ski more. So good friends with the name, but doesn't even remotely tell her what it could be. I guess. Yeah, how's your aim? I want to kill this. I want to kill the man from fifty feet away with a fucking acorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently, I don't know. Apparently, it was an accident. <laughs> oh, I could help you, bro. If you need it. That's a, it's really fun. I mean, when a dipshit like you can't <laughs> fuck it up, so you take you take a good. Hand full of balls and you grip onto them firmly. Oh, that's the spirit. <laughs> I suppose a small snack would be nice. Small child, come here. She walks up to a pretzel standing uncle who's is at his aisles. He's not allowed near. He's not allowed to the Christmas get to go anymore. <laughs> it says our pretzels are heaven sent. I wonder if I'll get in trouble for eating here. I get it. Maybe I'll get set on fire. Ooh. You have a point. Food gate. Food gatekeeper. How many pretzel dogs can I get with 20 human dollars? Uh, uh huh? If I get five of those, how many pretzel burgers can I get? How many? Four. Would or would there not be money left over for a drink? Maybe a uh, medium. Then I would like to have five pretzel dogs with everything, four pretzel burgers with everything, and a strawberry soda. Yes, ma'am. Or waiting on a food, seeing how Grace is over, and notice how good in the distance. Hmm. Wow, she really sucks at skee ball. <laughs> what a fucking noob. It's Probably like her wrists are just lead. fucking hell. Maybe you should save it now, just to. I just ordered food. She really is being rather unobservant. Bitch can't see for shit. She's just staring at that girl's tits while aiming. She's terrible. <laughs> King's out glances the time. way. Time o'clock calls it. The food is ready. Yes, thank you. Yeah, let me help her that. That will not be necessary. I throw everything in my cheeks. I'm like a chipmunk. <laughs> but not like Albino chipmunks. I mean, have you seen the newest designs? Good God. Jacob, put up a picture. Jesus. That is indeed a uh, what terrifying chipmunk. <laughs> Please back away, sir. Also, why the fuck are you throwing one of those around? <laughs> I mean, I know you're a demon, but standards, man. Standards. Take it to a nearby table, seeing how it sits and goes without eating. It takes about 10 minutes to get through all of it. Amateur. <laughs> if only I earned more money today. Oh, Zinger begins one day. Or mug that extra old one. 
begins to wander towards the arcade when she's approached by a strange man. Gee whiz, I just saw you eat like 10 of those in 10 minutes. Impressive. Your skills and my coaching, you could dominate the competitive eating scene in the city. Competitive eating? Totally. Here, to take my hair card. You could be the next champion, I tell you what, I tell you what, I swear no. After rapidly taking the card, Jing Hao continues the path towards the arcade. Champion? Oh, what? I am the champion. No time for losing. I was thinking of a Sato Kaiba complex. Also good. Is it? No. Back at the arcade, Togo seems to have discovered a newfound talent in ski ball, having managed to hit about 50... Oh, uh, uh, we about, found something uh, she doesn't immediately uh, fuck up. How about that? Seeing okay. Toku enjoy herself, Nadia looks around to find a game she can play, which is Zing How outside the arcade. Ah, fuck. She raises Zing Hao, who nonchalantly needs to try to take her inside. Two guys with Nadia's information, Twitch and Zing Zing Hao. She's glad to play when she approaches and stuffs her tickets in her pockets. Ah, oh, wait. Hey, you're Toku's friend from before, right? We are acquaintances. Okay, we shout what's right. <laughs> right, it was Jininja. Sing ho. Kazoom time. What do you want? Sing ho. That actually made me flinch. It was meant to. Kazoom time, by the way. <laughs> Bitch, where's your manners? Did I teach you better? That is right. You should check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> I should talk to the audience instead of Toko. You're the one following us, and I'm the rude one. I was not following you this time. This time? <laughs> Earlier, yes, <laughs> but now I'm here for food and entertainment. I have my pretzel burger, and you are making such a show. You can't even taste the food. I do taste it. Food is not just in the mouth, it's also in the soul, the heart. Yeah, you don't have any of those. What the fuck you on about? <laughs> You're just a bottomless pit of emptiness and profound bullshit. You are literally Kirby. Your stomach is a black hole. <laughs> you are a black hole in a bad haircut. <laughs> How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> Toko is taken back and stunned into silence, having not expected something like the swimming hole of all demons. Why else we're getting food we love fill us with pleasure or evoke fond memories? No. That's not the most sick thing I've ever heard in a fortnight. I've been listening to this bitch. <laughs> also, Rhapsody likes to watch. Regarding her composure, Toku assumedly glances at Jinghao. Kazuta. Whatever. Just get lost and leave us alone. Look, Tao, I get you two don't seem to like each other any more than you can throw each other. That's no reason to air her throw out. Fight? Nadia is right. She also has a good head on her tits. Do you have a neck? <laughs> I will make you leave if I have to. Don't push me. Toto! You listening to me, bitch? After Toto, I'm calling you out. <laughs> I'm not here to fight at all. Instead, I'll get my level 50 Pac-Man amiibo to do it for me. How about you? I'm here to eat a pretzel. Sir. His name's Ball Play Guitar Hero. His name is Ball Goblin. <laughs> Well, now I am. Nadia glad that he runs around when she realizes they started attracting right, a small right, crowd. Right, right, she right, tugs right. at Toko's shoulder for a moment. No. Bitch, I'm making a scene. I'll make a whole fucking play! <laughs> this ain't a scene, it's a goddamn arms race. <laughs> I once again advise this scene to Nadia. You're goddamn right. Let's tussle, you weird cute little head. I'll bash your fucking head and throw me, mum. Cunt! This is the stupidest showdown I've ever been in, and I watch midget fights. <laughs> when you have been here long enough, Toko, you will too will understand the hard food. Is that what we're arguing about? I don't think we're arguing about anything. That's it! Nadia, send the fuck back! It's about to go down! Wrap that all! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tokyo! No. Go fight him! Well, that's never the answer. Called you a ratchet ass? Oh! Come on, the bitch out! Come on, motherfucker! I'll treat you right! You don't know why Instagram gets me in a fight! I'll put you back in a little cup of war! You don't want to let me as a misery war! Fair enough. <laughs> I choose you! 
Oh, oh, I was you you no, I just made I just made that bit up to begin with. Now I'm going to the star bomb. Alright. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to do a, I'm trying to think of a rap, but I'm very good. Alright. I'm not here to fight you. It's not what I do. <laughs> fighting you, black fighting blue. God, I suck. Yeah. <laughs> Easier. If you don't mind, I'm gonna go. Please, Almost. <laughs> I wanna fight against anything that doesn't fight. Hey, yeah! Everybody was gonna be fighting. Tiger sprints forward <laughs> towards <laughs> seeing how fist raised to attack. Did you go for a trap door? That was the worst fight ever. Should you guys been fighting for using it before suddenly falling flat on her face? Well. That was not bad, it? Doki gets the fiends and Zingho in an ineffective death glare. That was a cheap trick and you know it! It was an obvious one that any other demon would have seen coming. Do not blame me, your flow's so sick and you're feeling ill. <laughs> I think I'm getting better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Let me, that get, must be let me guess, you're gonna tell me not to quit my day job. You don't have a job. Exactly, the joke's on you! That was almost the point. <laughs> Toka once again tries to jingle over this time, a kick at her. However, she merely feels the pressure on her supporting leg, and buckles and forcibly round. Rolling on side onto her butt, Toko grips her knee, now sticking the hard, small, melt more floor. Why can't you just fight fair? You don't fight fair. Don't wrap it. Toko, you're causing a scene! Not a goddamn arms race! That's <laughs> not a rap! No, it's a good song, though. You don't seem to understand how to fight demons at all. You're right, Toko probably does not understand how to fight anyone. Yeah. Now you might have insult to injury. Great. You are defeated. I get 15 XP. I will see you later, alligator. Oh hey, I leveled up. Da 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 we learned the fight because we have overcrowded disperses. Bitch, you okay? Now I've got to catch up on my skills. Alright, you better go grind in the lower level areas. <laughs> we'll start at the preschool and work our way up. <laughs> what the hell went through your mind when you thought you could take that bitch? How could I be expected to be someone I can't even see? See? What? What? Did you really have to fire? Do you know what you could have had something to do us! Look, don't like being followed around either, but I doubt. Never mind, just. You really got carried away, I set one of my ninjas on him. <laughs> Sorry. She wasn't doing anything, I wanted to try and fight her. Let me guess, you're mental. Oh. Could you help me walk? I need help. She carries her up in my bridle. Yeah. Ow! Ah, it's probably just a bruise. Get on this pack on it and get back. Oops. Oh, there. 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 Oh, it's true what they say in the demon world, that rock and roll was born in hell. They'll take no they'll take every <clears throat> they'll take every chance to take away uh, the accomplishments of black people, won't they? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh whatever. It's an infernal demonic sex magic. The pinnacle of demon society. You has spell magic arts. wrong. Hmm. There are many kinds of demons in hell. Some of those who barely resemble the primal state from which they came from millennia ago. Those demons who were originally devoid of empathy who hunted humans. Sometimes it was through consumption, even if it was through war, and sometimes it was through sex. But now it is through rock and roll. It is the sacred art of hell, and demons are naturally attracted to the very primal emotion music stirs within them, born inside themselves from collecting mortal souls. The human world is cautious to demons. It's impossible to remain there very long without the protection of hell. Those punished there will then to become human and stay that way, never to return to hell again. 
It was only after demons began acquiring emotions that they realized the long-term effects it had on them. Demons are not born with these emotions, and demons who have attained large amounts of these human memories often develop a strange sense of human empathy. However, these memories grow stronger with each buried soul, locked away inside the hearts of demons struggling to escape. It is this very soul that allows demons to master their demonic rock magics. When a demon has acquired enough memories, it begins to take a form of its own, its own consciousness. You could say that its memories acts as an instrument for a demon. It is through their instruments, symbols of the unity between demons' memory and their souls, that demons have mastered rock. And the more of these memories they acquire, the more potent their magics become. Not one it's of that bit. Fucking makes turning sense. into brutal legend. I bet it. <laughs> Nadia, she's not in bed. Did you have to use that toilet thing? Why can't she just go in the corner like a normal person? And Nadia, are you there? Ah, oh, apologies, Mrs. Toko, but Mrs. Nadia is not here. May I get you something to drink? Toko spins around right a of what painfully cheerful, irritatingly familiar voice behind her. In an instant, she's wide awake, suddenly overcome with dread and anger. Hey, I called it. Davy! Why are you here? Where is Nadia? What did Devin do with her? Tell me right now, rip me as zombie scenes! Ah, youth these days, brush as ever. <laughs> ah, my ears, there's no reason for my <laughs> Put me down, Lady Devon will not be satisfied with it. Shut it and tell me! Ah, okay, let me do you. <laughs> Hesperus Park! Lady Devon and Miss Nadia are waiting nearby Hesperus Park. Toko throws David a ground as hard as she can, causing a stuffy body to rebound up the floor several times. Oh dear, I just saw all 1,955 lives flash before my eyes. Toko yanks Dave the upper ground and vigorously shakes him. Take me to Nadia now! Uh, I've been instructed to lead you there, so let me go so I can... Not a chance! You'll take me to the park right now and I'll let you go the second Nadia is safe. And will not be pleased if she hears how you treat me. Fuck that bitch! You stupid stuff, bunny! Which direction do I go? Let's all from. Well, are you even listening to me or preventing me from carrying out my duties? If you get lost, it will not be my fault. I will tape your mouth shut if you don't keep quiet, you daft cunt! <laughs> I tell you what do I do! I think I've said cunt too many times. <laughs> oh well. You tape my mouth. Which way? <laughs> Left of the next street. Nadia, please be safe. My life is incomplete without your rocking tits. <laughs> okay, Davy, we're here. Where the hell is Nadia? Oh, well, we're back here. Hello there, sissy. Glad you could take the time to ask. Ask the lad of Devon, the precursor of Puppet Master. The boys prompt a great chorus of stuffed bunny puppets, all clapping with devoted rhythm. <laughs> 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 I know who you are! Wait, is there a point in answering yourself that way? Oh. It's been so long and you've got some so human. Keep going in the background. What have you done with Nadia? A figure appears at the top of the slide in the park, slowed by the moonlight. The shutter sits on a slide and rides at the bottom, landing only a few meters from Toko. Devon, Toko's irritating older sister. She was always followed by an equally annoying bunny butler, Davy. There's a present of addressing him as silly up as a pretend to be cute. You think it's even as old as that your age. Nothing yet. I was going to have a so soul. Well, that thing was so two years ago, but nothing got around to. Devin lifts hand and dresses to Nadia, who is tied against the jungle gym with jump ropes. Nadia! Sup, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. She's mine! You can't take her so! Togo sprints towards Nadia, but the strike to her lower back causes Togo to stagger forward and fall to the snow dusted grass, sprinting in pain. That's snow dusted? Excuse me. Nope, nope, nope. Too late, little sissy. Didn't you hear? I'll open the contract on Nadia's soul now. Since you're in exile, she's fair game for any demon to take. Ah, that's me. Fuck that. Shouldn't you be glad that I'm the one who got. Can I have your precious little girly friend soul? Better be as a random nerd, right? Nobody's going to have Nadia soul! Not you or anyone! She's going to live forever! But what exactly are you going to do about it? Not only have you never harvested any the souls you are supposed to do in order to become a big, strong, healthy demon, you even try to approach me with the human before my very eyes! The boo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs> I, I can stick! 
about your car different being a little baby here? I bet it'd be just thought out of you while balancing a cup of tea on his tiny head. Come on, Davy. Don't talk about soft falling for a human that's made, huh? Oh. I didn't fall for <laughs> Ow! A strike from Davy quite stoker, but tea cup he plays <laughs> delicately on his arm for the head, so being silly and sponges and strikes, preventing any counterattacks. Oh, go, what are you going to learn to keep focused? I shouldn't be able to get to work, son. You and Zally the same way. Eh, shut up already! Once I've done time to see your pop seems, I'll take a step and you'll have a dirty, stupid throat! Togo circles with you once more, a vision blurred from kissing me too many times a day. So you're really tired of being everyone's punching bag. She takes two feet back forward and starts walking towards Nelly again. Once again, as the attack silence Togo, she falls to the ground, stunned by a powerful kick. Recreate the creak of an ancient hell. There's bunny squeak reverberates <laughs> through the park. Me, me. Oh, my stuffing would not taste pleasant. I ask that you refrain from suggesting me as a mule. Ugh! You and your stupid pets! A cacophony of laughter and permission to the battle around the park. As Togo tries to get upright once more, <laughs> Devin prepares for the fight. A dozen stuffed bunnies bear outside, tying, tying, and excuse me, whatever, creating themselves into massive bunny limbs. For many stuffed dolls, a single, like, morphic nightmare is formed. Yes! Awesome. From Devon's hands appear a set of elegantly carved black drumsticks. Oh. She lifts it into the air, clips them together, and begins to move and guide the course of the rubber like a conductor. <laughs> With a flick of a demon's fist, the puppets begin to turn Toko's body into a pastry or straight crater in the ground. Crush. Obliterate. Free gutter. I don't know what that word means. Me neither. Aren't they wonderful? These are a bit dumber than navy, but they're excellent at interior decoration. <laughs> they do some lovely things with blood and entrails. Gross! You know, if I choose to have a shitty family like you against stuck on what I guess I'd rather live here. Go back to hell and leave me and Nadia alone. Mm -hmm. Well, if you don't carry Nadia's soul in a few more, then you'll be dead anyway, so it doesn't really bother me either way. Toko stands on my lips over to Nadia, who is drifting back and forth between consciousness. Explain it to me in two words or less. Shit's fucked. Hell, dude. I tried to say I was a demon. You didn't believe me. I really did come at you for a soul. You were so nice to me. I don't understand it. Now I'm going to fail and Devon is going to kill you all because I met you. Ah, don't be a daft ass. I always knew you were a diamond. You don't think I'm out here, Eddie, do ya? Treat me with some respect. I remember the girl who fought on the ball. Every night I saw her in my dreams. I see her watching, waiting. Shut up. I said this will one day meet her again, you know, it was more than a memory. Where's that? Where's the lip on? Yeah. Ah, where are you? Where are you? Are you? Yeah. I'm gonna die. Please don't leave this song. I'm a happy life, and I met you. Hell might be a nice place if you live there. I'm an idiot. Try to push myself on you so quickly. Didn't want it to end between us. You're not going anywhere. I want to stay with you, Nadia. I'll never do a thing to you. Nadia's eyes wide, wide as they fill with tears. She tugs her ribs, crying out, but Nadia can only struggle against the restraints. Time's up. Togo stood from her feet once more and said, tumbling away. A large black paw throws her to the ground like a rag doll. The giant bunny puppet mass under mass under Devon's command piles my hapless girl, beating her senseless. Toko cannot move, cannot fight back, but Millie tries to stay conscious by focusing on the cold snow. The feeling that it's an alien to now is all that keeps her alive. Hold it, hold it, baby, lift her up, please. On cue, the massive bunnies pull the limp Toko off the ground, hanging her by her arms. <laughs> this is almost embarrassing. I'm more than the same thing that Daddy's blood, but you're still alive at the moment. Go, go, I'm giving you one last chance. Devin leans in and puts her arm undisturbed and disoriented Nadia. Toku and Nadia look into each other's eyes, both of them full of fear and regret. Fear for themselves and for ones who just be careful, regard without being unable to save each other. <laughs> Nadia! Toku! Man, we are really killing the emotion of this scene. <laughs> <laughs> Leaning in like an old friend about to share some gossip, Devon whispers in Nadia's ears, but clearly loud enough for Toko to hear. 
You know, Dodo is a succubus, like Ripley, but more of a loser and not a fat. <laughs> Dodo treats him as Mark. It's just like Devin that that ends up to injury. Uh, is that so? So, you do fuck? <laughs> Why are you down to fuck? What? Dodo begins to twitch and blush for us, one that he only looks more confused than ever. I know, I know, she's all sort of strong, man. Her tips are fucking pathetic. <laughs> oh, come on! Well, I guess she's sort of aesthetically pleasing in the way that a pedophile would find a child aesthetically pleasing, but, eh, to each own. At this point, she waggles a brat, now they hear only frowns more. Wanna hurt that? I can hook you up. She has been really easy to please, and I doubt this would be any different. Shut up! I don't know. She drops her arm away from Nanny's shoulder, feigning disappointment, but her mouth twitches every now and then as if she's holding back a smack. That's unfortunate. Well, something can happen. May as well, like, just break your soul now. Hey, so, no! Stay away from Nanny! <laughs> if this was Dragon Ball, she'd totally turn Super yeah. Saiyan right now. Slipping inside Toko, that big red face, feeling sick and tired of being forced to shut up and remain quiet. <laughs> hey, Pipsqueak, can you hear me yet? Devin lets a nest on Nanny claps to the ground, she licks her lips and turns to her sister. See, she's not going to be depressed anymore if she comes down here nice and quietly. You can even play her a bit before they are sold. Isn't that what you really wanted? Davy, let her go. Toka falls to the ground in a heap of weakly, in a heaping weakly claims back to her feet. She's still a mass of wobbling knees. She stands alone behind the source of one of the wicked puppets. The power of the demonic heritage is also trying to shred parts of her dolls, but a second of blow connects just to her puppet already on Toka by the neck. She faces slammed in with Razzie's nose with one last violent punch. While she's out of it. When the man comes around. This is going to be a power-up moment, isn't it? We'll find out. Should we find out next time, or do you want to keep going? Yeah.